Hi all, today in this video we will be discussing on how to install our custom modules in our Odoos Edge. So let's start with it. Consider SH Demo is a JIT repository linked to a Odoos Edge. So I already opened this here. So this is our project Cybro Odoos slash SH Demo. So in order to add a custom module, we will add a new branch towards our JIT. So I'll say I'll name it as custom. So as soon as we add a new branch here, this will be automatically reflected in our auto sh. And there is a build queued for that. So until the build is queued, we'll add our custom model into this branch. So for that, I will initialize a JIT inside my system so for that so inside this blank directory i will initialize the JIT here either you can initialize a blank JIT or you can clone the module clone the directory i mean clone the repository here i will clone it directly so i'll say JIT clone i'll copy the code And I will add the branch name. Okay, so we are cloned the repository here, so we can see that. So next, uh, we will add a custom module which needs to be installed in our Odoo SH. For that, I'll for the demo purpose, I'll be using the send WhatsApp messages module by the Cyprosis Techno Solutions. So I have already. Uh, downloaded and co extracted the module here. I'll just copy this inside our chit initialized folder. So, next we will push this module into our JIT. So, for that, I'll add the JIT add. Next, I will add the commit message to JIT commit minus M. So we'll push it now. I've added the JIT uh, URL and the branch to which we are pushing. Okay, before that, we'll have to check out the branch. Now we'll push it. So the code is now pushed to the JIT and it is reflected inside a JTAP repository. So we can see that the WhatsApp redirect module is pushed here. So as soon as the branch is updated, it will automatically be reflected inside our order switch. We can see that uh, a new build is queued with the custom commit message we are given and the order switch has started building and installing the module inside it. So we'll have to wait for it until it's completed. It might take some time. We'll skip to the last now. Okay, so now the build has been completed and the text has been sent as successful. So if there was any warning or fail, this will show as the warning or as fails respectively. So as the test is success and it is fully installed in your server, now if I click on the connect button, we'll be redirected to redirected to a Odo SH database. Once we are redirected to a Odo instance, if we click on the apps and if we search for our app, we can see that the app is loaded into our database and it's already installed. So this is how we install custom add-ons in our auto SH. And similarly, after the testing is completed, we can move 
the app to the staging stage and later to the production. Once every testing is completed, we can move the branch towards staging and then after the staging is completed, we can send it to the production. And in the staging and the production, the app will not be automatically installed. We can install only when we want the app to be installed in our auto instance. And similarly, let's say if we want, if we have made any changes in the model or the module and we have released a new version of that module, we want, I mean, uh, we, we can make the auto SH automatically upgrade the module. For that, we just have to change the manifest version, I mean, the version inside the manifest. So let's say we have made some changes inside our module and we want order to automatically update the model we can do that by going into the manifest and inside that we will just have to change the version number we will have to increment it by one i mean and digit so let's say we have made some changes to the structure and let's say we are releasing it as version as 14.0.1.2 and once we save this and we push this to the github repository for where branch to which it is working the module will be automatically updated inside our production branch so this is how we install a module in our auto ss and how we can automatically upgrade the modules which is inside the production or staging state i hope you all understood our video thank you